The Kurds are often in conflict with states they live in and which consider them a threat to territorial integrity. Now the Kurds are a key target of the jihadists calling themselves Islamic State as the Kurds stand in the way of the caliphate they want to form. The Kurds have been driven from homes in Syria. This refugee says, you see what we're going through. They attack us, behead our children and abduct our women. They set our houses ablaze. What can I say? They do terrible things to Kurds. These Kurds have sought refuge in Turkey, where 20% of the population is Kurdish. There's a long tradition of Kurds fighting for recognition and rights in Turkey, notably for greater powers of self-government in the southeast. Following a bloody conflict lasting some 30 years and which claimed 45,000 lives, their historic leader and head of the PKK Kurdistan Workers' Party, Abdullah Ocalan, sentenced to life in prison, moved into a peace process with Ankara at the end of 2012. In March 2013, the PKK, considered a terrorist organization by Turkey, the EU and the US, declared a truce. On the 14th of May 2013, some 2,000 Kurdish fighters withdrew from southeastern Turkey towards Iraqi Kurdistan, where they numbered 4,000. The eruption of the radical Islamic State movement in the region complicates the prospects for peace for the Kurds, given that they are also long present in Syria. The Kurds number some 30 million in total. They're of Indo-European origin and mostly Sunni Muslims. Yet there are also minority Christians and Yazidis living in the region, as these Syrians seen here crossing the Tigris River in Iraqi Kurdistan in August. They flee the jihadists who demand they renounce their faith and follow the radicals' vision of strict Islam. In Iraq, there are 4.6 million Kurds in an autonomous territory rich in oil. Their armed forces, the Peshmerga, have won back parts lost to ISIL, weakened by American-led airstrikes.